Welcome back to the Loner Ranger Radio Show. Thank you for tuning in this weekend. I appreciate it very much. I hope you're enjoying the weekend out there. It's nice to have it cool down a little bit. Don't know how long that's going to last, but uh, we're in Florida. So whatever the weather is right now will be different probably in a few minutes. So uh, again, we have a lot of things to cover. We want to cover insurance. What's going on with insurance in, in the state of Florida? I'm telling you, what a what a what a problem. What a problem we got with insurance. Um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, Southern Homes. Southern Homes out of Lakeland, great builder. Uh, I'm working on becoming a approved lender for them. I'm going to give them a shout out because I want to help their clients with mortgages and I'm working to get on their approved list. If you know anybody at Southern Homes, call them and tell them to get the loan arranger on their lender approved list as quickly as possible. They're a great builder and I want to help them. I really do. And I want to help their clients as well. So Southern Homes, great builder in the Lakeland area. Uh, got some great realtors across uh, across Lakeland uh, as well. Um, Chris and Daryl Noonan, um, great agents uh, with LPT Realty, really like working with them as well. Uh, I mentioned uh, Chris Thompson, a veteran down in the Tampa area, all the way down to Tyler Negri, wonderful. Brandon Rimes and his team at Platinum MVP. And then you got his wife, Lindsay, rockstar agent. They've got lots of agents that work with them that I really, really like really like Jamie, Alan. Um, it, uh, it just goes on and on a uh, great team. So if you want some help, you want a connection, let me be the one that connects you to the realtor. Why it puts money back in your pocket. That's why you come to me. I refer you and I won't refer you to an agent that isn't going to perform at a, at a high level for you. Won't happen. That's what I do to help you. You need a little extra help right now. Now let's talk about hometown heroes, hometown heroes, is a down payment assistance program through the state of Florida. They've got a little bit of money left. Now, it used to be where you had to be a teacher, law enforcement, first responder, military. You don't have to anymore. You don't have to. There's a little bit of money left, and it doesn't matter what your occupation is. Now, you got to have at least a 640 credit score, and you cannot have owned a home as a primary residence for the last three years. You owned one before that, you're still considered a first time home buyer. Now, if you're a veteran, you don't have to be a first time home buyer. You could own a home right now and want to buy another one, provided it's a primary residence. You can do that with this program and I can help you with it. My name is Bruce Woodburn. I'm the loan arranger. Want to connect with a great real estate agent? You need, do you need a great estate planner? You want life insurance? You, I mean, think about this. Do you have enough life insurance to pay your mortgage off if something happens to you or your wife? I hope so. Do you have an estate established, a will and a trust? Do you have all those things established? If not, call me. I'll connect you with the right people, right? You want a great real estate agent, but you have to have the things that go along with it. You have to have good housekeeping, right? You got to have good housekeeping. And that means having enough life insurance and, you know, life insurance, is, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's important until you need it. By God, when you need it. And I'm telling you this. So listen, I'm, I'm, I always level with my listeners out there. So, you know, I'm a high school dropout. I am a high school dropout because I lost both my parents. Mom passed when I was 15 and my dad had a heart attack eight months later. I was with him when he passed. I did everything I could to save that man. And it was devastating. I had just turned 16 years old. I was shipped out of the country. There was nobody in this country that I, I had no relatives. So I was shipped out of the country to live with an uncle in Canada that owned a junkyard. Okay. Now my dad was a prominent builder in the central Florida area. And so everything just went from, you know, Bruce was expected to finish school and go to college to all of a sudden Bruce is basically homeless. And if it wasn't for a little bit of life insurance that my dad had, I would have been in a world of hurt. So I believe in insurance, but I believe that there's certain policies that people get bought into that aren't the right thing to do. So is it, is it a whole life that's right for you? A universal life term life? What's best for you? You contact me. I'll connect you with some great insurance agents. 
I'll connect you with somebody that'll create your will and trust. You got to have a will and trust. What about a ladybird deed? Are you familiar with ladybird deeds? That's if you die, your heirs don't have to go into probate because a will we're not will not protect your house from probate. Do you know that? A will will not. The reason you listen to my show today is not because of my extreme talent on the air. It's because I'll give you things that you can truly use. I've got a whole bag of, of things that I can help you with. That's what I do. Listen, there's a lot of things I don't do well, but I do real estate mortgages finance well. I'm not the smartest guy in the room. I told you I was a 10th grade dropout. Why do people come to me for financial advice? Because I have done exceptionally well, despite my, my formal education. I've done well. I've made a lot of money. I have plenty of money to retire on right now. I'm not filthy rich like some of you people out there, but I've done pretty darn good for a 10th grade dropout. And I look at people that make more money than I do and don't have the money in the bank. If you're in your 40s and you're making a household income of 100,000, 120,000 a year, you should have at least two or $300,000 in the bank right now. You should have it. What are you going to do when it comes time to retire? If you're 60 and you don't have really any savings, you've got a problem. So don't wait till you're 60. Start in your 20s. Go through my leapfrog program. I developed a program on how I could buy real estate and own more than somebody could buy if, if they, you know, because investors have to put 20% down, right? I bought all my homes up until the last three or four that I bought only because I'm not moving out of my lake house, but it, I bought all my homes for minimum down payment. Why? Because return on your investment with less money down is greater than the return on your investment with more money down. Let me repeat that. I'll give you an example. Let's just say, let's just use a $500,000 house for that matter. Okay. And let's just say that we're going to, we're going to put down 5% on a $500,000 house. So that's 25 grand, right? Now, if that $500,000 house increases at the average appreciation, now Florida always is above average and don't call me right now and say it's less than average. Everything has small dips, but we're going to skyrocket when these rates drop. Your values are going to go through the roof. So $500,000 and let's just say that it appreciates at 3%. Okay. So that's a $15,000 appreciation, right? So you put down twenty-five thousand dollars. That was your investment. That's a 60% return on your investment per year. That's a 60% return on is your, are your stocks giving you 60%? No, but if you put down 20 or 30%, you can't get that kind of return on your investment. You can't do it. You can have a lower payment, but you're not going to get as much of return on your investment. Now go buy $500,000 and put down 3% and your house appreciates 3%, you had a 100% return on your investment. Yeah, see if you can beat that with the S&P. Now, don't get me wrong, I believe in diversification of investments. I have investments, I have some stocks, I have S&P, you know, I've got some of the major stocks. I do believe in stocks, but I believe most of you have no clue as to how to pick a stock. No clue. How do I know better? Because I've been taught by people that are smarter than I am. So I only buy what's called essential stocks. If you look at a stock that you want to buy and your buddy gave you this great stock pick, you look at it and give it the essential test. Is it something that you have to have no matter what the market? Amazon, got to have it. Google, you got to have it. Okay, you got to have Microsoft or something similar. You need an Apple or Samsung. I'm an Apple guy. So you, these are your staples. Costco. Those are the things that you want to invest in. It's things that you have to have no matter what. Now, autos like Ford, banks, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, even though I hate banks, they're essential. Okay. I don't like Bank of America. I don't like Wells Fargo. I don't like Citibank. I don't like any of them. I think that banks are, tend to be like 
kind of crooks to me. And I think they take advantage of people. However, they're essential. So they're worth buying and having some stock in. So I do it advocate having some bank stock. So it's one of them necessary evils, believe it or not. But that's how you maximize your investment. So if I buy, if I can buy a house for 500,000 and put 5% down versus the next guy that says, well, I'm going to buy 500,000, but I don't want PMI. So I'm going to put 20% down. So they have to have a hundred thousand dollars. I can buy four houses to your one. Now, if I have a 3% appreciation, who's going to make the most money on their investment? I'm going to crush you. I'm going to crush you on your investment. You won't even come close. That's how you maximize. That's what the 10th grade dropout on the air is telling you right now. You can put me to the test. You do the math. You do the math. And by the way, it's one of the only thing your financial advisor and I will agree on. Why? Because he wants you to keep more money in, the, in their investments. As you should. Maximize your leverage. My name is Bruce Woodburn. I'm the Lone Arranger. 407-706-3313. Tampa, 813-213-4009. Again, Orlando, 407 407- 706 3313 Tampa 813-213-4009. Online application, online portal. We bring you home.com. Write that down. We bring you home.com. I'm the Lone Arranger, Bruce Woodburn. Not all cross countries are created equal. I run the Central Florida region. You can count on me for honest advice, clear advice meetings in person, never sell you something that I wouldn't buy or do for myself or my family member, period. None of my staff will. You won't find any slick talking salespeople on my staff. It doesn't happen. You call and talk to Chelsea. You talk to, to Sarah. You talk to Crystal. You talk to Monica. You talk to the people on my team, my loan officers. They're not slick salespeople. They make a good living just taking great care of you. Isn't that what you want? That's what you get when you call Bruce Woodburn, the loan arranger at Cross Country Mortgage. So now let's talk about insurance, man. Everybody's struggling with insurance. Citizens comes out. They just got approved to raise their fees double digit, double digit. Holy smokes. Now listen, citizens at this point has to insure you if the quote that you're getting from an independent company is 20% higher than citizens will get you, you still have to go with the outside company. Now, the good news is, is I was talking to my friend, John Tankersley at Sile Insurance, and he, like I've known John for 30 years, he's a great insurance agent. I, I do interview him on the show here from time to time as well. I'll be having him again, but he was telling me that we've brought in like three additional insurers right now to help fill the gap. That's because the laws regarding assignment of your rights, which are horrible. Like when you get a knock on the door from a company that wants to uh, uh, put a new roof on your house, don't do it. It's a public adjuster. It's not really a roofing company. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to get canceled. Then you're going to have a tough time getting insurance. So don't take advantage <clears throat> when you should not take advantage. I'm just telling you right now. If you have questions about it, give me a call. I'll connect you with some great insurance agents. We'll be back in five minutes with more of the Lone Arranger Radio Show with Bruce Woodburn. Now we're going to cover some additional things that you're going to want to know about, like what are interest rates doing right now? Is this the right time to buy? How can I maximize my buying opportunities right now? How can I really get the most for my money in this market? And should I buy now or wait for rates to drop? Bruce Woodburn, Cross Country Mortgage. I'll be back in five minutes with more of the Lone Ranger Radio Show. Call now. Or text now, Tampa, 813-213-4009, Orlando, 407-706-3313, or we bring you home.com. I'll be back in five.